so students we are continue in uh, absolute cell reference absolute cell reference so example uh, how the given steps are there in order to say that use the absolute cell reference in c1 right? c1 you see the c1 this is the c column this is the c you can see this is the c and one c1 and c1 you written that look at here discount on price the 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 thumbs that price list are there one number two number three number 200 300 500 6 7 200 250 written like that so every place you have to put the discount 10 percent discount if the items price are these are 200 300 500 600 to the so how do you put the discount have you seen yeah, if you uh, that uh, used to go to the shopping malls and uh, or shopping malls uh, that uh, in the goods in the clothes and whatever you used to purchase from the shopping malls every 10 10 percent discount 20 percent discount 50 percent discount uh, like this so when you choose the clothes and you used to uh, that give the money that in the counter say so they used to give the receipt right they used to give the receipt so in the receipts that automatically whatever the discount price or the original price plus what the discount price it will come automatically so what is the other formula that it's applied in the shopping malls this, this same the formula written in 10 percent return there may be whatever the uh, percentage of that uh, of things are discounts they used to write they used to apply the formula right so how it's you know necessary in our daily life then mixed cell reference mixed cell reference mixed cell reference is a combination of relative and absolute cell reference so this is a combination of the what relative cell and absolute cell in this uh, in this either a, a row or a column remains constant row or column remains constant return the dollar a1 plus a2 is an example of mixed cell reference you know? a1 plus a2 you know? A1 plus A2 the mixed cell reference is an example of mixed cell reference because the following examples of calculating the final files of items to understand the concept of mixed cell reference. So written here, look at here. Type of 10% in cell C1. Type 10%. Look at here 10% in C1. Look at here C. This is the one. 10% written here. This is the 10%. And I click the cell where you want to display the final price of the items. And now you here you want to this is the final price here written. Right? This is the final price nearby the my mouse final price written here so type what you what do you type type equal to first you put the equal to sign this is look at here this is the equal to sign i can show you this is the equal to sign look at here this is the equal to sign this is the equal to sorry this is the equal to sign and a dollar d5 you no know, minus e dollar 5 and so it's applying here look at it this is, this is nearby mouse right so this is the things are there in the cell reference so these things are there that you put the enter key and whatever the price final price you can get and in the example the column will remain constant in the first reference whereas the row will remain constant in the second reference right now column row that will put the constants right now we'll go to the next one we'll go to the next one No. mix cell we have done right we'll go to next one so now we'll go to the function what is function what is function functions are the predefined formula in excel so for a function is the predefined formula in the excel you must remember they are used to at what perform simple and complex calculations so in the very first you know that that uh, you know uh, that uh, chime has already said though these are the formulas and functions the formulas we have finished now we'll go in, going going through about the function of ms excel so what is the functions these are the functions and a predefined formula and these are already predefined pre already defined in the excel sheets before whatever we have done now what equal to send all things we have done by we, we, are, we, we are doing by ourselves but what are predefined always defined before those are called the functions and uh, they use the specific values called arguments in a particular order and return the values right then rules to create a function what are the rules to create a function what are the rules are there the structure of function begins with an equal to sign so always the function always begin into the equal to sign you have to remember 
uh, by the function names functions name must be followed by the argument operate uh, separated by commas and the closing parenthesis you can see you know equal to sign this one the equal to sign you can see the equal to sign this is the average function name and average function what is written there a1 is to a4 this is the arguments is to a1 and a4 are the arguments and this is the bracket parenthesis both side bracket is this is called the parenthesis right then ms excel has some built-in functions like what are the functions are there in ms what are the predefined functions are there some average maximum minimum today and round number round functions these are function that were the descriptions sum calculate the sum average find the average maximum that returns the maximum value minimum returns the minimum value today means returns the current date today function return the current date you have to remember round that is number or number digit round that rounds a number to a specified digit round and now means suppose i have, I, I said 25.49 so it will come the what 26 round or using the sum function for the what is the using the sum function so first we'll learn about the sum function first in the function of sum functions so how to use the sum function so you want to calculate the total of the final price of the items so some items are there suppose you have the item these are so we look at this all the items are there the item price and this is the what discount price this is the discount here you can see the discount point this is the final price and uh, so how to put the these things so what you'll do that click the cell where you want to display the sum like in cell f10 here cell f10 f10 they have written the what what the final price total price sum look at down c look at here nearby mouse one eight four five written now uh, one eight four five really mouse so this is the f column f and this is line if you see 10 number f 10 and uh, so click the home or formula you click on to the form or formula tab and click those auto sum drop down arrow click the sum option now select the range of the cell where values to be added and press enter key right this is the thing here there okay this is look at this this is the what formula look at this if you return something this is the formula and uh, this is the auto sum you to go to the auto sum have seen like this then press the enter key then return here uh, auto sum features contains various mathematical functions to perform different operations directly fine then we'll go the further thing and uh, using the average you put the average now how you get the average look at the average now the same thing is there and uh, look at here serial number one to three four the price are there you know then discount price are there to final price is there and what is the average is there average means suppose a batsman suppose a batsman uh, uh that three matches are there uh, one uh, one match he scored 40 one match he scored 50 one ma match he scored 60 and now 40 50 60 so what is the average on he scored you have to make it add 40 plus 50 plus 60 divided by how many match three match yes or no so this is the thing suppose you have you, you, you have given a, that uh, what exam in four subject and now english math science and suppose computer science right and you got mark 40 50 60 45 right so what is the average mark so you have to add all the marks then divided by four to your four chap that uh, subjects you have to you have appeared so get your four so that is called the average so here average also you can find out by the use of the what by use of the find by the use of the what formula then using the max function using the max function see the max functions okay so what is max function 
the max function returns the largest value from a set of given value for example to find the uh, that uh, highest final price of the item follow the given steps and a maximum value so suppose you look at here this is the items are there the 200 300 500 600 200 this is the discount price these things are there right? so which items price is more the 540 written is the 540 is the maximum price or 650 is the minimum price so which item price is more the 540 is the maximum price or 650 is the minimum price so which item price is more the 540 written is the 540 is the maximum price so which item price is more the 540 written is the 540 is the maximum price so which item price is more the 540 written is the 540 is the maximum price so which item price is more the 540 written is the 540 is the maximum price so which item price is more the 540 written is the 540 is the maximum price so which item price is more the 540 written is the 540 is the maximum price so which item price is more the 540 written is the 540 is the maximum price so which item price is more the 540 right in minimum basis look at the same thing you can see lots of items are there 180 270 these, these things are there what is the less price one is the less price among them so you return 180 down among these items down don't don't use that these items with the uh, less price 180 less price this one is display here fine so this is the thing are there and using the function wizard we will do in the next video fine